Welcome, my pretties. <laughs> Welcome. I am Emma McCann. I am the illustrator of the Anisha Accidental Detective series, written by the lovely Serena Patel and published by Usborne. This is number six in the series. It's out now. It's called Fright Night. You can get it from a real life bookshop, from an online bookshop, or you can go to your local library and borrow and read it for free. What we are going to do today is draw and colour Fang the Corn Snake. So what you will need is something to draw on and something to draw with. Let's get going. Okay, so today we are going to draw and colour Fang the Corn Snake from Anisha Accidental Detective Fright Night. You can see Fang on the cover there, looking a bit suspicious. So we're going to draw him sitting on a pumpkin. Um, you can see here I've got it sketched out already. Um, feel free to do the same if you want to. I've done this so I know how big it's going to be on the piece of paper. Um, you can do the same with a pencil. It's just a big round ball shape for the pumpkin and then Fang is a tube, like a big wibbly sock. Uh, comes straight down and then zigzags downwards. So we're going to start with the eye up here and that's nice and easy. It's just a little circle. There we go. And then the pupil inside, um, that's just another circle. Then we're going to do um, the top of his nose and then round to his mouth. So we're going to start just a little way to the right of the eyeball. We're going to come down, across, round and then back towards the eye and flick up at the end for a little smile. And then we need his nostrils because otherwise how does he smell? Oh, oh terrible! So we're going to draw uh, these, uh, like a V-shape with a gap in the middle. So you come down, leave a gap, and then come back up. And then his other eye, which you can only just see the top of over the other side of his nose. And that's just a little curve. And then a little bit of his pupil, you can see another little coloured semicircle. And then eyebrows, because even snakes have eyebrows. Two little curves. And then we're going to do the front of his body, which is just a big curvy S shape. And then we'll do um, his back, his, along his spine, and that's just another curve, starting from the eye, curving downwards. Nice. And then we're going to do all the way along his spine, so that's one huge zigzaggy curve. Beautiful. That is the outline of Fang, and we're going to go on to the pumpkin now. I'm going to use brown. So first of all, it's a little squished circle, more or less in the middle of Fang's body. And then it's five lines coming downwards, slightly curvy lines. And then there's just one curve to join them up, like that. So now it is the outline of the pumpkin. Again, if you go wobbly, doesn't matter. Pumpkins are weird looking, so it really doesn't matter if it's perfectly smooth or a little bit wibbly wobbly. So it's basically a squished ball shape. So we're gonna start at the front of Thanks tummy here and go all the way around to his back. There we go. And then we're gonna draw the the segments on the pumpkin. So we've got five curves, two going this way and then three going this way. So we go from the stalk Fantastic! Outline done. So what I'm going to do now is colour in Fang's body this is going to be for the bits, main bits of the body and then I'm going to use this lovely pink for his darker stripes and for his eyeball. But we'll start up here with his face. I'm going to leave a gap here for a stripe. If you do nice curvy lines on your segments, then you give the, um, the impression of the stripes curving all the way around his body. And then as you get towards the tail, the segments, the stripes, get 
smaller and narrower and closer together. So you can go in with your darker colour now. Lovely. So we're going to colour in the pumpkin. I've got a little help here colouring in the pumpkin. Um, I have my assistant uh, who's going to come in and help. Um, this is Octavia. Um, Octavia is going to give me a hand because, well, everything is a lot quicker and easier when you have eight arms. Oh, thank you, Octavia. You've been very helpful. So there you go. You can see that Octavia has coloured in uh, the pumpkin there in all sorts of different shades of orange. Go as bananas crazy as you like doing those. Um, I'm just going to finish off with a little bit of shadow under the pumpkin. So it looks like it's sitting on the ground. I'm going to do that in purple. And you can also, if you fancy it, put in a bit of shadow on the pumpkin itself. Um, I've got a brown pencil there. And there we go, there is Fang. Thank you so much for drawing along with me today. I hope you had a fantastic time. Fright Night is out now. Happy Halloween!